Hey, and they come on a once again. You don't think, you don't think, nothing when I throw on a something. Man, no vex. My other channel, when they occupy my time, what can I vex? I say, what can I show on this one? I suppose this one for the other channel, but I say, no. You don't think when I talk to my people, so make I talk to her now. If I like to see me, say, I don't come back. At least I will drop something. I say, if, if I get small chance, say, make gonna say hi, make gonna welcome me, make gonna like me to the show now. So what I want to do and the, the corsets when they for the thumbnail where you see so uh corsets now I want to show now how to get and I don't get my bodies I just want to explain so I draw this line to make a day somehow quick for you to understand quick quick so I will explain the goofa so what I get here now from here to here now my shoulder to bust so my shoulder to bust now 10 and my shoulder to bust and my under bust now 13 then my half length now 16 16 for where my half cut there, which is my waist. That is my half length when I get here 16. So as it did like this, so I know add sewing allowance as you see, so I'm not talking anything of sewing allowance. So no sewing allowance for this one. So after I get my measurement like this, I rule my straight line to make sure I say it's this straight. So after I don't do that one, I'm gonna get my shoulder measurement. My shoulder now 14 divided by 2, give me 7. So now the 7 when I get from here to here, 7 I get. So after I don't get my shoulder measurement 7, this part. I can't come down by one inch, so I can't rule mark here for get this mark here for one inch for my shoulder slope. So as I get this one inch here from this one inch here now to get my arm hole measurement, so my arm hole there now seven to get my arm hole measurement. Now my bust, I divide my bust by six plus one and half, which is one point five. My bust, I divide that by six plus one point five. Now the thing we can give me seven here. So my bust. When I get divided by six, when I both work with a thirty-three, I divide by six, give me five point five plus one point five from the seven. So now here I can mark for my arm hole. So I don't mark this point here for my arm hole. I can't come here again. I can't get my seven inches. I can't mark them. Now I got to rule my straight line from there. Then from there I can to rule straight line from this side for my balls. Then from here I can't get the width, the wideness of my neck, the width. Now I can't get here. And I get the depth. I can connect my width, go this one inch for my shoulder slope. Then for my neck, I connect my neck depth. Just simple like that. Now to get this measurement for here. So after I don't get our measurement for here, now we come over to our bust, our vertical measurement, which is measurement will be placed like this. So what I go do now to get here. Yeah, remember here now my shoulder to bust. Here now my nipple point. So let me see here now my bust. My major bust. Then you might put on waist. They might put them half length, half length. So after I don't do like this now, so here are my boss, here are my waist, and here are my half length. So my boss now, how to get my nipple to nipple measurement? Now my boss divided by six plus one point five. So my bro, my boss divided by six, maybe five point five plus one point five. You can give me seven. So that seven now, now I go divide that seven by two because this material now the swam into two. Why the swam into two now? See this material right there. What I mean by you know that you're working on an into two for somebody we don't know, so make another vex. I don't say everybody know, but some people they go there say if you watch this video, even if you don't watch and some people if you watch, I will never understand. So that they will feel understand that they talk here. So my paper now are one what they use, but my fabric would be unfold. So my fabric now would be like this. So you see, I say it now like this now. So when I cut my fabric, it would be like this. So this unfold. So now I take measurements. So let me say here now my front, let me this. With my breast shape, everything will do. So I fold that into two. Let me wait till I get here. So so anything when I get here go appear for the other side. So let me see when I get here. So after I don't do it like this, I'll cut them when you go unfold that is my material. So my boss now, now I come back to you. My boss now now seven divided by two will give me three point five. So now the three point five when I'll come put here now. Put my three point five, my boss point here. Then I come down here 3.5 for my waist. Then my half length again, I come down 3.5. Then I'll connect straight line from there. Connect straight line from there, meet my half length. So after I don't meet my half length line, what I will come do again now for this point? Now to get my dart intake of my dart when I will put for here. Because let's say your boss and your body not be the same, not be like your back. With this flat, your boss gets cheap. So to get that shape for this person, what they do it nana boss of 33, which means the person don't get big boss like that. So for this kind of case, now one and a half inch now they take for my 
that intake for this size of this person. So that's one and a half now. We divide that by two now, which is 0 0.7. Put for here 0 0.7 for this side. Then this my half cut. I put the same 0 0.7 here. Come here again 0 0.7. Then I will call my line, connect them together just like this. So after I don't connect this one together, what I will come do next now? Now as it, as it don't be like so. You don't say here now my boss point, which is my nickel point, maybe this point will be so. So you say we say let's cover our nickel point which, to get our upper layer to make sure say you cover your boss. So if you get your upper layer, if you want to expose your boss, that place now will guide you on how to expose your boss and how to make a day moderate. So how to get this part now? You want to find out your upper boss now. What you get from your boss to your under boss? At the same thing, will carry go up. So what I get here now? Three inches. So at the same three inches, I'll carry come for my upper boss here. So as I don't get there for my upper boss, I'll come roll my line like this. So my cross check, my confirm I'm here before I roll my line. So I'll come roll my line like this. So here now they should say here now my upper chest line. So here now chest line. So chest line might be this one now. So I see that be the chest line too. What I get from here to here, which is the 3.5, and the same thing I'll carry put for here. 3.5, let me three and a half. 3.5, let me three and a half. So I'll come connect them, set, make it come meet this one like this. So as you don't meet this one like this now, what we will come do now and the connection for our boss. Now we want to do so we'll do our calculation for our boss. So that calculation now, I will come down here by 0 0.7. And they always use this for this 0 0.7. 0 0.7 now after half they count one two that be seven 0 0.7 so after i don't get them like that what i will come do now from here i'll go connect them put for like 0 0.7 like this maybe meet my 0 0.7 line then this other part as well connect them meet the 0 0.7 line just like this so as this one meets my 0 0.7 line from here now, I won't get the depth of my neck. So how many be the depth of my neck? Maybe I won't get for this plow now. What they so this to avoid so now. This one now determine on how many you take your clients or the best way they so for. For me now, I want them to be eight, eight or eight point five. Make another two exposed. So make a neck use of eight point five. So now here my boss measurement the start from my the depth of my neck now here it will start from so if you want your own to come down now like this to take, take your measurement so after i don't get the depth of my neck like that i'll come put half inch for this front like this half inch maybe 0 0.5 i'll come put them for here like this so this half inch went there so what i'll come do now i'll go connect them i'll go connect them from here it's my ruler like this just get your call connect them from here enter here Connect them like this. So as you don't connect them like this, what thing you go come do now? And I have to get this other side where you go shape from there. So what thing I get from here to here now? When I get from there to there now, three inches. They don't say I don't come out my half inch. So as I cover them sooner, three inches now I can't remain for this part. So this other part for my side now, come down three and a half. You know, say your side big pass your center. So this part now, I can't add half inch now, make a three and half. So after I don't add half inch here, make a three and half. I will come connect here. Yeah, I will come raise here, go up. But before I raise here, go up. This thing I want to do soon on my off shoulder, not before full shoulder, we will get sleeve, like long sleeve or short sleeve. Now off shoulder, but you will get sleeve on an off shoulder kind of sleeve. So what I will do for my off shoulder, you know, say if you did this one now, you go too tight your armhole. Because this one for sleeve, they're perfect for sleeve, so that you fit your arm on well. For this off shoulder, now I won't come down, but you can come down by, you will see come down by half inch or one inch. So for this case now, I won't come down by one inch, so that it will give the best in free space. Even if I put the sleeve, it will fit, sit well. So one inch now, now I don't come down by, for this place now. I won't connect them together. So as I don't come down for that one inch, 
reason I come to for this my phone is when I get here now. I will connect and go that up like this. Tell you see, so just straight connect and go that up like. I don't connect go that up like that. You see, I come to for this side. I will connect this side from here. I will connect and come meet this other one for here like this. I go connect and like this, come this other one. So once I don't connect and meet that one like this, here yeah, now I will determine how I want my neck curve to be. I want my neck curve. If I want them to come down low, I will bring them like this. If I want them to come down low, if I want them to come down high, I bring them like this. Check this see. So this one now, I want them to come down low. So make I come down from this my neck. This is my point when I get for this up. I come down by half inch. Half inch. So if you want us to still come down low, you will fit still down like that. But me, I don't want my one to come too low like that. So I will connect from here to that point. From here to that point. So this neck, when I give now, I mean they, they, they decide the neck for my client now. This one, I mean they decide the neck for my client. Then from this point now, I will connect them to this one right there. So, so you know, so this point when I get to my side of my boss, so I'll extend and come up. I will connect them, come up. Come this side like this. Connect that like that. Share that straight I get there. So after I don't connect this one from here to here and from here to here, what thing I can't do again now? You know, say for this point now I get 0 0.7. Uh -huh. So here now I'll put the same 0 0.7 for this place here. Then here again I put the same 0 0.7. Why are they putting 0 0.7? So that you fit tighten your upper bar so as if you bend down, you know, will fall. So because of this thing now, we will tighten here. So you make sure, say, you tighten your, the upper part of your breast. So I will give you that your breast shape from the down to the up. They come tight to the up. You make the down here will tighten. So now, so the up here will tighten so that you will balance. Everything will look sweet. So after I don't do like this, you see, I see my cup now, don't come out already. So after you do like it's very easy to make. This is not hard at all. Maybe you know they think say they look and they see and I say yeah, nothing there for this thing. Just follow the way they show you. So this is what they show you. So you go for all measurements. Why you get your measurements complete? So just use the formula what they show you for here. So you get them exactly and perfectly well. Make I see if I think get chance show now how to swim. Work they very tight on me now. They try to see say I even rush to do yourself. But I won't make sure say on now understand everything what they do. So after I don't get my measurements like this, I'll come put my vertical measurements then. As I tell you, all the measurements are there, so you know you hear me talk so in allowance. You know you hear me talk any allowance because where you cut your material and then you put your sewing allowance. Let me for like to show on a, that video on how to sew up. So the only allowance I will add for this paper now and for my side, even the one for my down here, I will add that when I won't cut my material. But for this side, I will put my, my measurements for here. So make we go there now. But as it did like this, so now if you still put your material, your allowance for this down, we don't say space there. Make I see if I fix it my soil allowance for this down. But now focus on this side first. So more go there. So my boss now at 33 divided by four. It give me 8.2. So what I get here now now 8.2 for my boss. 8.2 plus two inches for sewing allowance. So this two inches now right there, so now my sewing allowance. After I don't sew my line in finish, it's half inch, one and a half will remain for me to take sew joint together. So after I don't get my twitches of sewing allowance for my boss now, I come over to my waist line now. My waist now now, 29. I divide 29 divided by, by 4. You will give me 7.2. So I get my 7.2 here. 7.2 here. I bring them down, come this down again. Get my 7.2. Because anything when they happen for this other boss, they happen for this side too. So I don't get my 7.2 here, 7.2 here. Remember, say from here to here, I one and a half inch right turn and I say I divide by divide them by two. So that one and a half inch, I will carry and from here. Put that one and a half inch here. Yes, step, I put the one and a half inch. Yeah. When they go small, small. So I don't put back this measurement here. Let me say if I join here together, everything here will give me 7.2. Change the other side and get here so because I don't add this one back for here. So after I don't add them like this for here, I'll come put two inches for my sewing allowance. 
two inches for sewing allowance. The way I get two inches for this part, as so I can add them there. Then I can connect them, connect my my this thing together, my lines, so that while I'm over there, connect and meet everywhere. Like this. Then two inches what I get for my allowance. Share the set I get here so. So after I don't get here, my just link and go up. <coughs> mm, sorry. So once I don't connect like that, so they see and say our measurement not complete. So for this part now, we go join this down. We go join this down to our if you want make peplum or you want make gown um, half inch. So I put my half inch here. Make I just make them be easier for this down. So I put my half inch here. Take note of that one. But for this up, where you want to cut your up, this one is an off shoulder. So you need to tell this in an off shoulder, not the this one. So take note of this in an off shoulder, not the view here. So I'm not going to make use of this up. But by God's grace, if I, I get, if I get what could be said, I'll switch on now to get to join on an up. If I get chance, I'll switch on a down one. How to get on an up so that we see get work to do for this up. You no, know, we just cut and like this go place. To get one or two up to do, I don't want to dive on a go that side. So after I don't get my half inch like that, I connect this one, come down, come complete them down like this. So after I don't get that like this, so I don't get my front calculation already. I will see go. I get two ways of getting my back. I feel just sure now. If I get for full shoulder, I will show on that one or make a show on so that in case of somebody who wants to full shoulder, you know, go worry him to get a full shoulder. So make I just rule my lines then come back where I explain give you on how to go for that part so i don't rule my back already so that things will be easier make i explain you now so from here to here i get my bust line and from here to here i get my under bust from my shoulder to my waist now the lines say what i get there shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust and shoulder to waist which is the half cut line and as it be so, I never add my 0 0.5 inch my sewing allowance for this, for the case of this bag. So after I get my measurements like that, I can't go ahead to get my shoulder measurements plus one inch from my shoulder slope. So from my shoulder slope, now I get my both divided by six plus 1.5. And so I run my line, come down, run my line like this, come down. Then I get my neck width, my neck width and my neck depth that I connect them like this. So this neck width and neck depth will enter this part because here when I get here, so now for zip. So this one at the back, for you to get your plot, you need your zip. So here now, now zip allowance when I get for here, for my zip. So this my zip when I get here, now, now two inches when I use for my zip for that part. So what I will do now for my boss points now, I will divide my boss divided by two from this line now. You see my zip point here from this line. My ball spin are seven divided by two. Give me 3.5. 3.5 for my under balls, 3.5 for my waistline. Yeah. Then I connect them, go up like this. So as I connect them up like this, what thing I go come do next again now to get my upper chest line. Remember the upper chest line will take for that up now three. Because the distance from here to here now three. So that's the same three line after I come up. Get my upper chest line. So if I don't get my upper chest line for here, so I'll come to the same 3.5 for my upper chest line here. 3.5 for my upper chest line. Then I'll come roll my line go up like this. And for my front, if you remember from my upper chest line. I come down by half inch, so I will do the same thing for this part here. Come down by half inch. So after I come down by half inch, then I'll take my dart measurement. So for my dart, I will take the same 0 0.7 for my dart. Take the same 0 0.7 so that I will tighten my waist well. 0 0.7. I will connect them from here straight to my from to my upper chest line. Put it straight to down my upper chest line when I get there. You first still use 0 0.5 inch if you wish. As I tell you, so I don't cut any, I don't add any sewing allowance. When I cut my material, I will put my sewing allowance. So I don't carry upon my point for there. So as I come down to that point for here now, this is 0 
where I couple for my upper chest line, where I come down. This is my arm hole line. Remember, I say my arm hole line, I come down by one inch so that I'll forget my boss connect to that point well. So that one inch now, I connect that like this. And the other one gets here. So that one inch, come down. Because now off shoulder. So I don't cancel this one for my arm hole. I don't make use of this one now. So as I as you see, I use this one now. From this point now, I'll come connect them. But before I connect them, make I get my bust measurement first for my this is what they make now. So my bust now, my bust now, now 33 divided by 4 will give me 8.25. So I get my 8.2 now. So from this point here, I get my 8.2 here. So I get my 8.2 here. What I get for this point here? This small dot when I when they come out here, here now. What I get then I have. So I put that half back for here. Then from here I get my two inches for my sewing allowance. It can be this point for here now. So I don't get my dot point here. Two inches for sewing allowance. Then for my waist now, what I get for my waist line, I get 7.25. 7.25 here. 7.25. Here again. After I don't get my 7.25 for this point, what can I get for here? Now I get one inch for this space of my darts. One inch. I place my one inch for here. So the space of this dart, what I get here? I get 1.5. I place my 1.5 dart for here. So as I play 1.5 dart for there, what can I can't get for my darts for this down now? Two inches for my darts, for my sewing allowance rather. So from here to here, my darts waste while they carry come back here. Because when I take my measurements now from here to here and I include those waste. So if I don't put those waste for here, I would be short of material if I don't cut and come out. So I replace those waste then put back here. This is for here. And you can see here they replace all my waste there. I'll see on the side that they do. I'll say it makes sense to you. So I don't replace everything like that. Then for this one self, I can't bring back my tool again for this one. So that mistake will go there and confusion will go there. Then I connect. I connect them back together. So I connect them back together. So as I don't connect them back together now, everything now don't they balance. So I connect this side. So I may not say I have my sewing allowance while they get here. So you won't get the sweet in my head on the thumb now. So like I say, make I drink something. So as I don't do it like that, so what now I can't do now. I could connect them, put for this my arm hole. Remember, say for our front here. Now, see our front. You see, and from this part now, I connect our arm hole for here. See, I see our arm hole, let this cut there. As I tell you, I would listen now. This second arm hole, let be this one where I don't mind you. So, let's say this one and I cancel. So, this arm hole right there. So, I'll connect this one self, make it meet up for that point. So, if you meet up for that point, maybe say you meet up for this one, maybe this one in the other ones, this one in the other ones, this separate. So, from there now. You know how you take create your arm hole. So this one is arm hole now. I will decide how you want that to be. So from this point now, I will carry and come. This is my arm hole. I you know the shape we want give for this upper part. It fits Thailand as you wish. So as I don't carry and come down there for the, the depth of our back for the front. Now, the depth of our front now eight point five. But I don't want my back to be like I want my back to this somehow come up small. You know. How it's going to be so I think it could be half or seven and a half. This one, and I mean, for my own case, you understand because I mean, it's Thailand for my customer. So, for my own case, you are the plain matter for my kids, that kind, that, that kind of thing. So, uh, for my case now, I did bring them come up by only half inch, making it maybe back just manage that one, take half inch. No problem for no day, may not be like say, no, follow the front, do small thing. So as you come like that now, I don't see cross check my zipper allowance. So here now my zip, as you know, here now my zip, here now my zip. This thing they very easy. And they try to make sure say I make it easy. I don't know whether they flow the way myself and they flow. So, so as I don't do it like this now, I don't get my back already. Check the grab. I don't get my back and uh, drafting now. So if one make use of this up, now make me even do it like not. I will show you the second way of getting your back. So I just see my bring her like this show now. So if you want to make this up, down for another video if I want to. 
maybe for now, but for today, make I go straight to our matter of the day. So as it won't be like this now, for this back now, make I just add my sewing allowance for the down so that while I no go there. So I don't put my sewing allowance so that for itself no go there. Hope say so you understand what they do here. So so I don't just put everything they go. If you know say never subscribe bridge this time now, I beg. Make we no fight, no fight, no for day. Just subscribe. Even though say you know one watch my video again, say subscribe. Tell your friends, say get one new channel. Oh. Make they go subscribe then. You know go run away. Man, no tell you say you know, you know go run away. So after I don't connect everything like that, everything I will come do now to cut out my distance. So I don't want to waste your time as you see. So I don't want to waste much time because I don't say on a seven day like print time we waste. So what I will do now, you know, say I don't put my dad so my complete this one self. I don't complete this one. So I will cut my dad then out, cut out everything, I will come back to you. But I'll make an easy so that I split them, you go know how you go.